Hi, in this video I'd like to show how to set up a sequencer mod on your system. Um, here's my lemur, here's the second monitor and here's my laptop. Um, the first thing I will do, I will load the template on the lemur, therefore I open the jazz editor as I already have and um, I insert a new module, the sequencer is a module and I just import that and now I got it here on the jazz editor and then I press here see my lemur, press connect and then after a short moment of time it arrives on the lemur so the first thing is done you can um, enter it in any project um, the next thing open your door in my case it is Ableton Live. This just takes a moment and now I pull it over to the other monitor and um, here you got uh, audio tracks and MIDI tracks. I just create another MIDI track. Oh this is a little bit complicated with one hand. Ding. Here you got a second MIDI track and now you need um, Max Runtime or a copy of Max. Max Runtime is for free. Um, I use here Max Runtime for demonstration. Double click. And then you open the Max patch which comes along with a SIP. So I open that Max patch here. And here we go. Um, the first thing we have to do is to establish OSC communication. Therefore you need your lemur IP as this here is my lemur IP and if you don't know your lemur IP you go to your lemur and press a hardware button here. Then you go to settings and here you see your lemur IP. Use it with static IP and you have to enter that here in the max patch um, but you don't have to enter it every time um, after your first setup you can save that the next thing you see is a port here port 8000 which is a standard port is used um, I will use another port and just show you here if you go to your OSC targets you see eight different OSC targets as you see I do use only two Target 0 is a standard target, uh, for instance, uh, for using with Moo or many other interfaces. Um, there you have to uh, enter your computer IP, not your lemur IP, and a port. Just where you found, uh, find your computer IP, that's um, if you go here to wait, settings, no, here, here we go. Jazz Editor connected to. This is your computer IP. And this computer IP you write in here for your IP addresses because you want to target that computer. Well, the sequencer uses um, OC target 1, not 0. And as you see, I used another port just um, to avoid any conflicts. So I have to enter that port here where now stands 8000. I make it a 7999, press one time, return. You see that the max patch uh, um, is also responding, binding to 7999. And then you got that OSC checkup. Therefore, we go again to the lemur. And here on the transport section is that little OSC test button. If two-way communication works, you can switch the light on and off. And parallelly, you see that here on the max patch. So our C communication is fine. Next thing is we need some MIDI ports where we send the notes to. The uh, pop-up menu will show all MIDI ports installed on your system. I choose loop B. And since version 3.2, you can split the MIDI port, which might be interesting for some hardware configurations. Maybe if you want to send out the notes of the lower uh, track 5 to 8 
to MIDI out, I can choose that one, but you can also use the same port as I will do here. Next part is clock. You got a rewire slave, MIDI slave or MIDI master you can choose. You can choose on the max patch or you can choose here on the lemur. Um, I strongly suggest to use the MIDI master from my patch because I've found in several tests it's the best clock. So, and I will send the clock, send it out to also loop B. So we are sending out all, everything to loop B. And now we go here on the preferences and have a look at that. Um, you see different ins are activated. These maple ins are used for li uh, Limo directly. Um, but that loop B I use for the max patch. So the MIDI coming from the max patch and you have to activate the track for notes and the remote for um, the control change messages. The input of those. As you see also the sync is activated, a sync input. This is because I use the max patch as master and I will slave Ableton to that. Um, you also see that I use a linear correction of the MIDI sync, which is about minus uh, 27 milliseconds. So if you use your uh, rewire, you don't have to use uh, to activate any sync out, but in my case, I will do so. Next thing is on the track. On the track, you choose MIDI from, you choose loopy, of course, in my case. You can choose other uh, um, ports, it's up to you. And I activate the in. And you can also set a channel because the sequencer can send on different channels. And now I guess I have to insert some instruments. Um, a collision on the two. Oh, you don't see that and uh, electric on the three, just for example. So, and now I go back here and press play. As you see, the sequencer is running, but Ableton gets a media information and is not running. Why? Because I have forgotten to activate the external button. I can't make stop here in Ableton, I make it on the sequencer. Activate that external button button if you want to use the clock from the max patch. And again, I press play. And now Ableton is also moving. If I now enter a note, you see it is coming through. It's so easy. And now this is MIDI channel 1. I choose MIDI channel 2 which doesn't have any effect because I have forgotten again to choose a track, which is of course important. Now I have chosen a track, the chosen track becomes red, and if I now change to MIDI channel 2, it sends on MIDI channel 2. The MIDI channels are completely independent on each track. Well, I guess this was a first setup. There are also some more things. Um, on the max patch to control, there's a maximum, where's my mouse here? There's a maximum uh, step length, which I suggest to set to four steps. And there's a minimum step length and ticks, the maximum delay of the groove pad, the keynote, the octave and the flash time. Um, regarding that MIDI ports, you can use different um, just on Mac use the IAC, do not use the Jazz Mutant ports because they are for uh, direct lemur only. So I hope that helps a little. Uh, thank you for watching and I apologize for my bad English. Um, yeah, thanks for watching and have a nice day.